To the surprise of a lot of Weibo users, it seems there is currently a litigation between the owners of the World Trade Center and the airlines that were involved in the September 11th attack. Now, according to a Weibo post that cites the Huffington Post, U.S. District Judge Alvin Hellerstein said that he will soon make his announcement on whether or not the owners of the World Trade Center can try to make the airlines pay billions of dollars in damages. The World Trade Center properties and its affiliates have already received $4.9 billion in insurance proceeds, but they are looking for another $3.5 billion from the aviation company. The Trade Center owners say that it cost them more than $7 billion to replace the Twin Towers and more than a $1 billion to replace the third Trade Center building that also fell. Now, the general feeling on Weibo is that the Trade Center owners, having already claimed their insurance money, are just being greedy and that the airline companies shouldn't have to pay for a terrorist attack. So now let's take a look at some of their comments. This is capitalism at its worst. This makes no sense. If the owner of the World Trade Center can sue the airlines, then surely a person that is stabbed by a knife can sue the knife company and people can sue gun companies? I think the key question in this case would be, should airlines be responsible for the terrorist attacks? The question is quite silly, of course they shouldn't. However, if the owner really wants to sue, he should go sue the suicidal terrorists and their families for compensation. The American insurance system actually pays money for terrorist attacks. In China, insurance does not cover damages caused by war, riots, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and flash floods. I have to wonder, what good is Chinese insurance anyways? Well, since bin Laden died, maybe the U.S. government can seize his assets and use that money to pay the owners. But how would people feel if they found out that bin Laden helped pay for the new buildings? Airline compensation is a hot topic on Weibo recently as the families of those injured and the families of the two deceased girls are looking for compensation from the South Korean Asiana Airlines. Now, Chinese insurance companies are also rather notorious online for paying out very little compensation when compared to their American counterparts. The Chinese insurance industry is also racked with various forms of fraud. According to a report by the Chinese website CNFOL.com, Chinese authorities just cracked a large insurance fraud case that involved transactions amounting to 152 billion yuan. Now that's roughly 25 billion U.S. dollars. Now media reports revealed very little details about the case except that it mainly consisted of college students and that fake virtual aviation insurance were part of the fraud. Now, it's estimated that around 38 million people were victims, and many of them not knowing that they were defrauded.